update now on a legal battle emerging around the Onion News Network's own Jode Kressbeckler. After the shocking story yesterday that a group of assailants attacked Congressman William Cummings, tied him to a horse, and dragged him through a briar patch, some are now saying these statements from Mr. Kressbeckler last week may have incited the attack. This boat licking Congressman Cummings ought to be tied to a horse and drunk through a briar patch. And Congressman Cummings appeared to implicate Kressbeckler shortly after the incident. They just kept coming at me and saying, Joe Kressbeckler told us to do this, and so we're doing it. Oh, dang briars. For more, we're joined by Onion News Network legal expert Andrew Sharp. Now, Andrew, these accusations against Mr. Kressbeckler won't hold up in court, will they? No, I don't imagine they will. Mr. Kressbeckler's show is billed as an opinion and entertainment program. Yes, And he is. even calls himself nothing but a caterwauling old badger, so right. the claim that he would incite people to violence seems pretty far-fetched. But Congressman Cummings' camp is saying Jode's rhetoric was inflammatory, yep. specifically the point in the segment where he displayed a map of Congressman Cummings' home in relation to the nearest Briar Patch told his viewers where to purchase a quote good pulling horse and used a life-size dummy of Congressman Cummings to demonstrate effective knot tying techniques. Right. You know, I think most reasonable people would see that as simply a ribald political satire. Right. Br Briar Patch is obviously a metaphor for the prickly political atmosphere in Washington, and drag from a horse means something else. Makes sense to me. But yet it seems the media is pegging him as some kind of a violent monster. Right. But if that were the case, then why were there zero instances of violence? last weekend at Jode's rally to make sure someone physically drags Congressman Cummings through a briar patch. And then there's the fact that Jode actually sent a message of support to Congressman Cummings this morning. You know, he did. Let's take a look at that again. Congressman, feel like I've been a little too tough on you before and I'm fixing to make amends, so come on and shake the hand of my little friendship twig. Come on. Shake it! Now they're somehow managing to spin that act of kindness as a negative? It really is truly amazing. It's remarkable. All right, Andrew, thank you so much for your you perspective. You are welcome. Thank you. Moving on, a new study finds ancient deer may have been up to five times more interesting than modern deer.